the camp's just down in those trees there. Um, and the pipe's going to come down this way. But they haven't started any work yet. Hoping to get rid of uh, people first, I guess. People have been living here now for the past three months, right in the path of the pipeline to stop it being built. They're occupying trees in order to stop the trees being felled necessary for the pipe to go through. <laughs> People have also been digging tunnels in order um, to make an eviction of people living there really difficult um, and costly for National Grid. Morning. It's Wednesday and I'm in the Brecon camp, um, sat inside the teepee where I slept last night um, and I'm now on my own, yeah. Ian left yesterday evening, um, he very wisely decided that since he was irritating me um, it'd be better that he went and we would uh, remain, remain good friends um, than uh, spend another 24 hours in each other's company while slogging up hills. Um, and last night felt really sad. That's enough. It's about 13 miles to Hay on Wai. Um, it's so peaceful and um, I'm, I'm really enjoying just sort of being by myself and uh, having my own space. 29, so 29 times three. That's about 90, 90 pipes just sat in front of me there. So that big pile there is a quick estimate, half a kilometre's worth of pipe. And this pipeline is going for uh, phase two, 200 kilometres. That's a lot of steel. I've just cycled up this hill. A few hundred yards up this road is um, a farm where uh, a farmer called Mr Lloyd lives and he's refused permission for them to come through his land. And uh, interestingly, he was uh, the one farmer who was on the TV loads during the foot and mouth outbreak who refused to have all of his animals slaughtered and he, um, he barricaded off his farm. So this could be a really interesting uh, hour or so. But what part of the farm is it going through then, through <coughs> the barn? Right, right across from the one side, across our entrance to the farm. Yeah. And out the other end. We haven't said no because it's going through an important part of the farm and we can't just risk <coughs> You know, if they get a compulsory purchase order, yeah. you know, we can't risk that really. I have had a payment as such, but uh, it wasn't something that I... You asked for. You know, I am not, I've signed it totally against my will and they know, they know that, you yeah. know. I am not at all happy about it. It's a beautiful spot. No, they said, told me, oh, it's not going to affect the value of your farm. So huh. I don't know how they work that out. If it's potentially highly bloody dangerous, you can't do what you want with your own fields. You yeah. can't build things on there. Can't stick a caravan site on that field, you know. They say, well, it has no effect on the value of your farm. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> tell me, uh, you know, they make sure from the start that uh, you know they've got all the powers. They can do what they really want. Then you start sending you know, letters, and then you start getting things from London-based solicitors and everything. You know, you get the little land agent from Bruton Knowles comes around like to make sure the peasants understand that we've got compulsory powers. And you know, that's before. You've yeah. even supposedly decided, decided the route. I said, I'm not signing anything. I said, I don't want anything to do with it until they tell me son. And, um, he said, um, oh, it's nothing for you to worry about, Mrs Lloyd. It's um, way in the future. It might never happen. About a month or two later, they came round wanting to walk, you know, through. Yeah. And so it's all been, I think. Carefully plotted. Very much so. <laughs> keep us in the dark like little mushrooms and uh, you know think they can do what they like it's just awful really just like how helpless people are to stop national grid um, and why like taking direct action um, is a really effective 
way of, of regaining some power. Um, he's managed to delay it for six months, which is bloody good going. Steam sticks and a, a pile of cold beans.